In this video, I'll uh, try to explain what is Stripe webhooks and how you can set it up and use it. So the Stripe webhook is nothing but an API endpoint that gets invoked by the Stripe when certain event happens. For example, when customer completes the session checkout, then you want to do some processing like if you want to save the data of customer order in your database. So in those kind of scenarios, you can use the webhook. So basically webhook uh, tells uh, Stripe to call our API whenever a certain event happens. So I will try to explain this uh, with one event which is session checkout completed. But you can use this for any other event as well. So let us jump into it like uh, I will show you how you can set up the webhook. So if you go to the Stripe dashboard, you have to go to the developers and in here you will find these webhooks. Once you click here, you have to click on add endpoint. So basically you have to add the endpoint over here. So this endpoint is basically the API that you have created on your server. So it, this has to be like your server, say for example, softforce.org slash API slash whatever you want to do the, give the name. So that will be the endpoint. And the next thing that uh, you want to give here is the event. So when that endpoint has to be called, so that event you have to select. There are different types of events and they have grouped these events based upon the object. For example, uh, if you want to handle the events related to account, just expand here and you can see that these types of events can happen uh, related to the account. So you can select like this and then those kinds of events uh, will be handled. So basically, if whenever those kinds of events happen, Stripe is going to call the endpoint that you have mentioned up here. Whatever endpoint you are specifying, that endpoint will get invoked whenever that event happens. And on the right hand side, they are also giving the sample code as well that you can use uh, in your API. So they have given over here the Node.js code, but you can select from here a different uh, code for a different programming language as well. So I'll briefly explain what this code does. So what happens is that uh, Stripe sends the request to this endpoint and then over here what is happening is that we are checking the signature. So this is for the security purpose just to make sure that the call is being made by the Stripe and not a uh, third party. So over here uh, we are calling this Stripe webhooks construct event. So basically it is gonna return the event object sent by the Stripe. And here, a very important thing you need to remember is that you have to use the raw body. Okay, so you can see here it is using express dot raw middleware to extract the raw body. And if you are using next yes, uh, generally uh, they use the body parser. So you have to make sure that body parser is uh, disabled, and you have to use the raw body. Uh, to create the event object otherwise it will fail also you have to put here the secret endpoint secret over here so this endpoint secret uh, you can for each endpoint there is a sp specific secret that is required to verify the signature sent by the stripe and uh, once the event object is here you can process that like you can see what kind of uh, event is there and based upon that you can also extract the event data as well and then you can do rest of the processing. So over here, I have given this uh, sample code for the Next.js application. And as I said, we will need the raw body. So I have installed this raw body package. And also I'm using this secret. Uh, for each endpoint, there, there will be a secret. So you have to use that secret uh, to verify the signature. And over here in the construct event, remember that I'm using the raw body using this get raw body method. Okay, an endpoint secret is being passed here. So if, if everything is okay, then event object will be created. Otherwise, it will throw error saying that signature is not matching. Once we got the event, we can handle those events using the switch case based upon the event type. So for example, if event type is checkout.session.completed, then you can do this processing. So based upon it, the event, you can have different processing flows. And finally, you have to uh, send the status code. So if you do not, uh, send the correct status code then that uh, webhook uh, will fail from the stripe side and here is typical event object so this particular event object is for this event checkout session completed for different uh, types of event different 
uh, type of uh, information will come in this event object and based on that event object data you can do rest of the processing like in the event object you will get all the important information like which customer has had made this transaction how much he, or he has paid if the payment was successful all that information will be here that's it that's how you can use this webhooks uh, using stripe thank you for watching